Howdy folks, Spencer here, and today I'll be showing you the results of me opening 2,000 research and development promotional packs that I opened over on the Dribble Test server. Promotional ships are meant to be the highest tier of ships in the game. They are the rarest to obtain, being single character unlocked ships from a gamble box. This means that they are the most expensive in the game, but to make up for that they're supposed to be designed in ways that make them superior to other ships of their class. This is why you see outrage from the community when promotional ships like the upcoming Kirk Temporal Battlecruiser come out that have subpar stats. Okay, so without wasting your time, let's just dive right into the data here. I opened 2,000 boxes over on the Triple Test server by copying over a character that had 50 promo packs on it to the test server 50, uh, 40 times. So I copied that character over, and as far as I am aware, the drop rates between Tribble and Holodeck are basically the same for lockboxes and promo ships. The only thing that differs over there should be Phoenix prize packs, which should always give you an epic token on the test server from what I recall. So the cost for me to open 2000 R&D promo packs with the current market prices would be 52 billion EC. That is also equivalent to 4,000 US dollars worth of promo packs during their 20% sale. Now, the prices will probably come down a little bit with the upcoming prom promo event, but they haven't been going down as far as they used to just due to the overall inflation in the EC economy in the past few years. Now, as you can see at the left, I've got it marked in red that the promo ship drop rate was 1.1%. So out of those 2,000 boxes, I got 22 ships. This works out basically to a 1 in 90 drop rate which is consistent with what I've heard many times over the years with pro with previous promo drop test. But what this ultimately tells me is that if you are somebody looking to get a promo ship, you need to just sell the promo packs yourself and just use the EC from that to buy the promo ship off the market during a promotional event. This is all a gamble, and if you take that gamble, you come out risking not getting anything for your money. And we're not talking a, a small amount of money here. The, these promo ships, at an average of 90 packs per, you gotta keep in mind that during a sale, that means that the, the promo packs are $2 per. So that's $180 worth of packs on average to get one of these ships. And, you know, some people may get one or several out of a hundred, but there are plenty of people that will open a few hundred and not get a single ship out of it. So if you really have your heart set on getting a certain ship, you need to just not be stupid with your money. Basically, you need to just sell the promo packs and buy the ship directly off the exchange with EC because I've, I've been on that side before. I've been on both sides of this coin. If you have something you really want, you need to do the thing that's going to guarantee you get what you want, which is just buying it off the exchange. In fact, I, th I think it's important to point out this data that I've been going over. I, I'm, I've already rendered the video once and I, I went through and did this and realized that this was too important to leave out of the video. This is where I got the ships in the opening cycle. And you can see how when you open in a large quantity, you're gonna be pulling a few ships close together. But ju just take a look here where I got the first ship. I got the first ship at box 118, and there's a lot of gaps here in this 100 plus range. So these are periods where I opened 100 packs and got nothing. So this just really emphasizes the point of if you want the ship you need to be selling the packs to get it because you can very very easily find yourself in one of these situations where you're not going to get a ship until you open like the 140 150 plus packs here so at that point it is much cheaper to just sell the promo packs and get the ship via the exchange now back to the video so for those of you that do like the gamble though i also have a tab here for calculating promo profits but first let me just go over what the profits were in this scenario of the opening i did so with me getting 22 ships those ships would sell for between 1.5 to 2 billion ec uh for this for the point of this, I'm just going to say that the ships are selling at 1.5 billion because most of you don't use the trade channels. There's lots of them in the game, the trading channel. There's some outside of the game like STO trades on Reddit. But 
I know many people just use the exchange, which is understandable. And the cap for items there is 1.5 billion. So that is what I went for with these calculations. In a scenario where I opened these 2000 packs at 26 mil per pack, I would have lost about 5.7 billion EC opening these packs. However, if I had been able to get the packs at 22 and a half million per, I would have had 1.3 billion profit. So there's very much scenarios where you are pretty much guaranteed to lose. And there's other scenarios where you have potential to make a bit of profit. So if I jump over to this profit calculator and link to this entire spreadsheet will be down below in the description. Check it out if you want and make a copy of it so you can tinker around with the inputs here to mess around with various things. Let's say the promo R&D packs drop down to 20 million with the event coming this Wednesday, I believe, uh, that introduces the Kirk class. If you can get promo packs at 20 mil per and you're able to open a large quantity, and when I say large, I'm not talking 20 packs, because that, that's, that's ultimately nothing. I'm saying if you're able to open several hundred promo packs at a time, you could theoretically I have to emphasize theoretically profit off of opening the promo packs if they go down to that price point. Just keep in mind, this is theoretical, it is a gamble, and you could still get screwed over and lose a lot of EC. But given the drop rate, you should, in theory, be able to make a profit. So you can tinker around with these settings, you can change the low B value to whatever you want. As I mentioned on the other tab, the Low B price is based off of you buying the promotional ships that are dropped in the Low B store and selling those right away for 500 million EC. Some people are patient and hold on to those and sell them for a lot more. So that'll increase the amount of EC you're getting from your Low B. There's a lot of personal factors that are going to go into some of these things. And especially if you're willing to sell promo ships via the trading channel and you say you sell them at 1.7 instead of 1.5, that, that drastically increases the profit potential, as you can see right there. So this, this spreadsheet should be fairly straightforward. I have two scenarios here that I, I figured would cover most people here. Either the, uh, the whales that can afford to go and open like a thousand packs, or the casual players that just really want to gamble and they have like a hundred packs. This, this is assuming you're getting a ship within the drop rates. Uh, but as I said, you know, you might get screwed over. You might get more than this. Who knows? So if you have any questions or comments about this, leave them down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. You can tinker around with the settings, update the values to the current exchange prices, all that. Just go in and make a copy of this and it's yours to mess around with. But that is it for me talking. Now enjoy the... Uh, opening footage there's not going to be much sound with this because i had the ambient game sound off and there's no sound when you open promo packs but thanks for watching and i will see you guys very soon because i want to talk about the kirk here probably tomorrow